so couldn't find any good videos on taking apart the uh, 2017 Gear VR, so just decided to make one myself. Now, you actually don't have to remove the straps. I thought I did, and so I started with that, but you actually don't need to do that. So, anyway, I started off with um, taking it down like this. There's a little uh, sticker cover here that you need to, you know, I just moved it over, and that exposes a couple screws, and then there's several other screws that are underneath these little flaps, which are pretty straightforward to remove with a fingernail. Just like that. Set those aside. Try not to drop them on the lenses. And yeah, also try not to drop them in the middle of the mechanism there. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I went ahead and bottomed it out just for no good reason. just seemed like a smart thing to do. So essentially there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws on this portion of the front visor. And, uh, you know, they are easily removed. I'm using a triple uh, zero here. And uh, what we're going to find once we dig in here is that this front actuated portion come on baby hang on by a thread this front actuated portion completely lifts off but does not actually expose the circuit board requires a few extra screws. Luckily, at least all the screws I ran into on the take apart were all the same same size. So, and I'm going to go ahead and just unlock and remove this just for the sake of it. Now, once this part comes off, it actually doesn't come loose. It's tethered by this piece here. Now you have the option of either removing this and unplugging or just removing this and let it dangle. Um, at this time I'm just going to go ahead and remove this inner portion and then uh, go from there. So I'm just going to hold this. As long as you're not too crazy with it, it should be able to survive. I'm not really happy with that, but and you shouldn't be either. Come on, baby. And there are four screws on this uh, PCB cover here, which also holds down the connector going to the universal USB interface, which has the uh, USB and the USB-C different options there. So just so this thing doesn't go flying, and I don't think it will, I'm just going to hold this while I remove this final screw here and do my best not to lose it anywhere. Okay, now I'm going to use one of these standard little spudger guys. I'm sure you may or may not have these sitting around. And then that just kind of lifts off. Second time is much easier. And now, just to free up this guy here, I'm just going to remove this connector. And then that just frees up the entire front bezel. With the front bezel free, uh, you can see the actual circuit board in there. Uh, this is the connection that goes to the trackpad and uh, the back and uh, home keys. Now, I want to say that's a trackpad controller. I don't actually know for sure, but I do know for sure it is adhered down underneath this area on the Flex PCB. So you can actually remove this connector and then delicately, 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 delicately. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader. Oh, good. VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. Yeah. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver. Shush. Thank you. Um, anyway, so back on track, removing that plate. So at this point, the PCB is free, um, but it doesn't want to come out easily. So um, 
couple of tips here. If you kind of start wrenching it up at the top and then get into the USB connector and just gingerly, gingerly again, gingerly, release it from those friction pegs there. At this point, once you've removed those top screws, it is only in there with friction. You're going to want to hold this chingus out of the way. Make sure you don't get the bottom of that dusty if you're planning on reassembling it. And um, Oh, sorry, almost forgot. There's one additional connector which goes to the, um, um, the proximity sensor on the inside. So you want to disconnect that. And I just kind of push it out of the way. You know, I guess you know, if you were keen to get a cheap headset, you could just disconnect that and then, um, or, you know, really, whatever. There's options. Uh, I'm just going to get this thing in a little bump from here. And it's pretty much free. Once you, once you feel it's free, it'll pretty much just fall out. And there's your port. Um, at this point, the only f the only remaining removal, because uh, you can actually seemingly get to the uh, oh I'm wrong, okay. So I guess if you're going to change out the lenses, you would need to go a step further, and I did anyway. So we'll just go ahead and do that, so you can see the the remainder of the mechanism. So at this point, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws holding down uh, basically the base of the actuator. Uh, so the actual mechanism is underneath this. So I'll get in here and I'll show that to you. Now, you do not want to try and remove this before you remove the PCB because there are two tabs over here on this side that uh, are under the PCB. So you're going to have a bad time. You're going to be able to lift it up and peek in there. But you can probably figure out how I know that. So, six, seven, and eight. And this just lifts off. It, it is kind of friction fit on the left side, the, um, these pegs that hold down the PCB are press fit into some little retainers, but there's nothing there's nothing really there, so that one's fine, it's this one. So I think I used a big old gnarly screwdriver, but I'm just able to pop that off and then this guy just lifts out. Nothing here. These are just the vent covers. And basically the inner shroud. And then the way it works internally is the zoom or you know focus button twists a knob which engages uh, little pegs that rise up and down on little screw uh, screw drives that up raise those pegs and then the front uh, piece where the phone mounts is actually fixed on these pegs and so it moves relative to this based on the height of those guys. So don't mess with that so you can kind of get it back in with the correct alignment. Um, and uh, that's really it, you know. Uh, as far as internally, you know, that's the back side of the... Thank you. That's the back side of the proximity sensor, which the entire goal of this was to add a switch so it wouldn't keep um, killing it in the bag. But um, anyway, um, yeah, so you've got the trackpad connector, which takes care of the buttons. Uh, the volume buttons are actually on this guy, and so that's handled by that um, flex connector there. So the PCB itself, uh, I mean, it's got the USB cable there, or the you know the USB connector there. So I'd imagine there's some kind of USB controller, and I am to understand that there may or may not be some kind of gyro or accelerometer on this board. Um, very well could be, but um, you know, I was planning on adding switches to this, but it looks like it's a multi-layer board with uh, ground planes on both sides, so it looks like I have absolutely zero access to most of the traces. So, I don't know, maybe I'll poke around on that some more, see if there's any options there. But, uh, yeah, there you go. That's uh, the Gear VR 2016, and I guess... 
2017 uh, taken apart. So thank you for watching or whatever. <laughs>